relationship and his wife for 37 years of wonderful, steadfast, anointed, powerful leadership. Amen. You can learn how to walk closer to God just by following their example. Amen. So we're thankful for that. But Ecclesiastes chapter 1, I'm starting verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 12 says, I, the preacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem, and I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that were done under heaven. This sword hath God given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith. Verse 14 says, I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. I want to talk to us for a brief moment about just look up. Just look up. You may be seated. The writer here, known as the preacher or the son of David or Solomon, was searching out around him and he was finding out that things around him were not matching up to what he felt like they should be. He said, I searched out all things under heaven and under the sun and all was vanity and vexation of spirit. And that's even surprising because in a day where he does not have X, formerly known as Twitter. He does not have social media or Instagram or CNN or NBC, ABC, all the other acronyms. He was able to come to the conclusion that everything under heaven and under the sun was vanity and vexation of spirit. And so often for us today, we can get to that same place and that same point where we look around and see how the school systems are falling apart and how our legislation systems are, you know, being decayed from the inside and they're becoming more corrupt and how the medical field and how all of these other things are going. And we can say that everything that we see under the sun is vanity and it vexes my spirit. But I wonder if Solomon could have just reached into some words uh, that his father David probably expressed where he said, uh, I look to the hills uh, for which cometh uh, my help because uh, my help comes from the Lord. His problem uh, is the same problem some of us have because all we're doing is considering uh, the things that's under the sun, uh, the things that's under heaven. Uh, but if you could lift up your eyes uh, and look up, uh, it would strengthen your spirit. I feel like you need another example, but Isaiah was in chapter 5. He was noticing all of the sins of the people around him. I call it the woe chapter because he said, woe unto them that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that put evil for good and good for evil. He was noticing all the problems that were around. But when he got into chapter 6, he said, I saw the Lord being lifted up, seated on the throne and his train filled the temple and once he got that uh, when you get down to the middle of verse of chapter 6 uh, he says God says who will go for us uh, he wasn't just noticing the problem anymore but I've seen the Lord uh, and I'm saying send me God uh, because they may not have any hope uh, it may just be vanity and vexation of spirit but I looked up uh, and I saw that there's somebody greater I know y'all don't like that either, because you're like, that's Old Testament. Well, Jesus said in Luke chapter 21 that there's going to be wars and rumors of wars, and that you're going to be persecuted, and men are going to turn on you, yea, even your family will turn on you. And he's saying all of these things, the love of many are going to wax cold. It's going to get worse, and it's going to get worse. Everything that you see under the sun is going to vex your spirit. It's going to be vanity. It's going to seem like there's no hope. But in verse 28, he says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look 
up uh, for your head. Lift up your head for your redemption uh, draweth nigh. It's time for the church uh, to get your eyes off of what the media is saying. Uh, and I want to know what the book is saying. Uh, it's time to get your eyes off of what the world is doing. Uh, and I want to see what God uh, is doing. Uh, they have no hope. Uh, but when that's the case, uh, look up uh, because your redemption uh, is drawing nigh.